Quintin here. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you live uh, how our agent AI technology with our AI agent uh, capability of service now, uh, you can leverage an MCP server uh, to uh, fetch data or have your AI agent on service now reaching out to other system um, to uh, get answer to maybe your end user inquiries. And this is all using uh, MCP. So as I'm diving into um, the topic of MCP servers and MCP client, I uh, figured I should try for myself uh, what this MCP is all about. So I'm not going to dive into the concept of MCP, just want to show you uh, the real stuff live on my uh, demo instance. So you get an idea if you want to see for yourself how ServiceNow interact and how, uh, with uh, an MCP server and how that looks like in terms of configuration. So it's very simple and I think that's the whole point of MCP. So let me get it get started. I'm in AI Agent Studio and uh, in AI Agent Studio, I can uh, declare my MCP server in the settings section. Right, so once I'm in the settings section, I can put the uh, URL of an MCP server. So in my case, I'm going to be using uh, an MCP uh, server from Microsoft that is uh, out there, published for everyone to use. And it doesn't even require an API key. Uh, so this is a, a, an MCP server that can answer a specific question of um, on, about Microsoft um, learning data or documentation data and things like that. So we're going to try it together. So I'm going here, I'm just declaring in service now the MCP server. I'm going to call it Microsoft learning MCP. I'm putting uh, API keys, which I think doesn't really matter because for this one, it doesn't really require really uh, an authentication. I'm putting whatever string here and click add. At this point, a record for in ServiceNow is created for the server. So ServiceNow now is acting as an MCP client. Well, the goal of this is to use that MCP, MCP server in ServiceNow from an AI agent perspective in ServiceNow. If you're interested into the uh, agentic AI of ServiceNow, we do have this technology. And now the beauty is we can leverage via the MCP protocol, we can leverage um, the MCP server to interact with other system, the MCP protocol to interact with other system. So now I'm going to create an AI agent very quick uh, that uh, is going to be specialist into uh, helping with um, any Microsoft related type of questions. So I'm going to click and create my new AI agent. And we're going to call, we're going to put a name, an obvious name. Something like that. And we can put um, a description that makes sense. Um, well, this one's gonna be such in Microsoft Learn, that's uh, kind of the name of the MCP. Well, and the role for that AI agent, you are a uh, you are a Microsoft expert. And only thing, only thing we're gonna, the simple instruction will be use Microsoft doc search to search the user's query in Microsoft documentation. That's all I need to do right. Truly, the benefits of MCP is I don't have to worry about API code and things like that. You'll see when I add the tool, and the LLM can understand how to use that tool directly using the MCP proto uh, protocol. So I don't have to spend too much time on what I would say the plumbing aspect. The plumbing aspect. When I say authentication here, we don't really care. Dynamic user, I'm going to save and continue. Ignore and continue the suggestion. Next step uh, is to add a tool. So I'm going to click tool and you see what's new in Zurich here is my release of service. Now it's, uh, I can add MCP server as a tool. 
Traditionally, I could still do search like many ways. We just keep adding ways uh, uh, for our AI agent tech to go get data outside. Um, using the mid server is one of the obvious because there's a, the trend at, at the moment is for all those companies to provide MCP server. So we can use the same uh, kind of protocol to, from an AI perspective to uh, interact with different system. Um, so it's abstracting the API layer, make it, it, making it easier from an AI builder perspective to leverage those different systems. So I'm just putting MCP server, Microsoft learning, that's what we declare in my configuration. And now we're fetching at this point service now using this own MCP client to communicate with the Microsoft MCP um, learning uh, system. And now I can select the different tool available to me. This was created somewhere by Microsoft on the MCP server they expose, and that's a tool available to me. Uh, here, so I can just simply select the doc search and then I can put um, a tool uh, definition and a quick tool description so our AI can understand what that tool does in plain English. Okay. Search through Microsoft latest documentation with the user query. It's pretty simple. Okay. Execution mode autonomous. So I'm uh, just going to go ahead and trigger this. And uh, I'm going to say, yeah, provide a concise, oh, con pre provide a concise response when you use that tool and provide the output and click add. Uh, at this point, I can do save and continue. No trigger, we're just going to test this in the playground. Save and test. And now I can start asking questions, right? Um, that's the whole point. Uh, I can uh, test my um, AI agent and see if he's able to leverage that tool to provide answer to an user. So I'm, I'm in the playground. Obviously, the end user experience could be different. It could be uh, in a different UI of ServiceNow, but this is just for me to test um, ServiceNow's AI in ability to leverage uh, an external MCP server uh, to get access to data or information. So I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, is a GPT-1 mini available in the European region and see if it works. So then you can see when I click start the, um, the AI orchestration piece and the decision making. And at some point the system is going to figure out, you know, that it needs to leverage the tool that I just declared uh, using the MCP server. So now we can see it's running the Microsoft doc search. We can see some reasoning and action there. Best action is to use the Microsoft search tool with user query. He took my input here um, and passed this to the MCP server. And then we get the, the answer back from the MCP server and it's all good. So see now if um, our ServiceNode AI technology is built to work with ServiceNode data, but also with anything outside. So we keep adding tools and integration uh, to have different techniques to offer to you in a very simple way so you can leverage those different systems. Obviously, MCP is going to be widely um, adop adopted in the next few years. Uh, so this is a prime example. So it's really simple. You didn't see any line of code or API things. I can just leverage. Um, uh, this very easily as an AI uh, agent builder. I hope that makes sense. That was just a quick sneak peek.